Hello everyone, Mark with LinkMatch here and in today's video I would like to give you a complete tutorial on how to use LinkMatch for your Zoho CRM. So if you're a Zoho CRM or Zoho Recruit user, this video would be helpful in both of the cases. So what is LinkMatch? For those of you who don't know, LinkMatch is a Google Chrome extension that allows you to save LinkedIn profiles straight to your Zoho CRM and Zoho Recruit databases. Also, in addition, you can see which of the profiles are inside of your Zoho CRM right from the LinkedIn page, and you can view and edit the fields for those profiles. We'll get into that demonstration a little bit later, but for now, I wanna show you how you can install Link Match for your Zoho CRM. So you simply go to our website, linkmatch.net, on the fourth tab, you click Link Match for Zoho CRM, and right here, you start your free trial. You would be redirected to the Chrome Web Store where you can hit Add to Chrome. In my case, the extension is already added. Or you can go straight to the Chrome Web Store, type in Link Match for Zoho CRM, click on it, and Add to Chrome, whichever way you prefer. After doing so, you will see a options page appearing like so. You need to make sure that you're logged in into your Zoho CRM so that Link Match can pre-populate the email address associated with your Zoho CRM account so you don't have to manually enter it. If you have a promo code, you enter it here and then you simply hit authorize. Before we hit the authorize, just so you know, if you're switching from another Link Match product for our other integrations, let's say Link Match for Cats, PC Recruiter, Greenhouse, or any other system, you need to make sure that you disable those extensions from uh, your settings in Chrome. So as you can see here, I have Link Match for Cats, Greenhouse, PC Recruiter, Zoho Recruit, all of them are disabled and only the extension that I'm using is enabled. Otherwise, there will be a conflict. Also, regarding the options page, in case you accidentally close it, you can access it from this check mark right here in the top right corner. You just click on it and it will open in a new tab. Or you can go to your settings, right, extensions, and scroll down and you will find it here. And then you under the link match for Zoho CRM, you hit on the options button. And again, it will open it in a separate tab. So you hit authorize and once you're authorized, you will see the following settings page where there are three different tabs. Let's start with the subscription settings. You have your email address right here with the ones that you're logged in your Zoho recruit. You can hit sign out. Also, you having here matching and parsing two features shown. I activated uh, the matching feature so I can show you how to unsubscribe from a feature and I deactivated the parsing feature so I can show you how to subscribe to a feature. By default, when you authorize Link Match for the first time, you will have 14 days of free trial for both of the features, which is fully functional. Then afterwards, you can subscribe for the features that you like. So let's um, take a look at example where you're already subscribed to a feature and you want to unsubscribe. You simply hit add to unsubscribe list and hit this unsubscribe button and all of your reoccurring charges, if any, will be stopped or basically uh, you will not no longer be built. Now we're going to undo this and let's take a, a different example where you would subscribe for a feature. So you hit this button and then you hit purchase you will be redirected to checkout.com page, which is our uh, payment system that we use for processing our payments. And here you have the option to indicate how many uh, link match licenses you wanna purchase. So you have the description of what you're purchasing and uh, you indicate the quantity. And then you simply continue to billing information and indicate the billing information and the payment method. So let's say if you want to purchase uh, two, three, four or more licenses for your team, then you indicate the amount here and continue with the billing, update it and continue with the billing. And then separately, you need to send us email to team at linkmatch.net with those email addresses so we can activate them for you. Okay, let's go back here. 
This is uh, pretty much it for the subscription settings. Now let's see how Link Match actually works. So you authorize for the first time, you're logged in, you just go to your LinkedIn, and I'm using my profile as an example. We refresh the page, and Link Match will show you, first of all, whether this LinkedIn profile is inside of your Zoho CRM or not. And uh, then you have the option, if it's not in, to save this profile automatically. You hit Control plus A on your keyboard. Uh, then you hit to Zoho CRM button. A pop-up window will appear populating the information on the page. It's going to populate it to this uh, to the fields of your Zoho CRM. Afterwards, you simply hit create. Okay, good. Once you created this uh, lead in your Zoho CRM, here is a, a shortcut. You click on it and you will be redirected to your Zoho CRM. As you see, the profile picture is also parsed and any other information uh, that is available for this particular LinkedIn profile. You can also set up the way it saves the information. So to the right, we have LinkedIn profile fields. Uh, the ones that are checked, meaning these fields will be saved. If you have them unchecked, they will not be saved. And then to your left, we have the fields inside your Zoho CRM. So what we've done here is we simply mapped which field from LinkedIn should be saved to which field it should be saved to your Zoho CRM. So um, let's say, for example, in your comments, you want to save the courses that they attended. You simply drag and drop and that's it. And it will be ticked that it's saved. Um, you can also drag and drop to a different field or you can uncheck if you want to undo uh, this action. Also, you can create a custom field and another box will appear here and you can map any of these LinkedIn fields to your custom fields. Uh, briefly put, to create a custom field, you need to go to your Zoho CRM, click on the setup here. Under customization, you hit modules. And then you create custom fields for leads. You go into your leads and you will have a variety of options from the new fields that you can create. Uh, and you can simply drag and drop them here and then assign uh, whatever this field should be displaying. Okay, once that is created, uh, you will see it in your leads fields right here. All right. Um, now let's go back to our LinkedIn page and let's say that this particular layout for the pop-up window is not convenient for us. Let's say we don't want to see the status or the type first. We want to see the first and last name. We want to rearrange that. Okay, we also have that option. You simply go to your options page and then you hit the fields display options. Here, as you can see, you can rearrange the fields in the pop-up window for your contacts, for your accounts, for your leads. So we have the status and type on top of the list. Let's uncheck those. And let's say we bring up the first and last name here. And let's say we want the email right after that. Let's see how that is going to work out for us. We go back to LinkedIn. Uh, we refresh the page. And then we hit on this uh, orange check mark. The reason why it turned to an orange check mark from a red cross is simply because it's indicating that this lead is inside of our Zoho CRM. It does the same thing for um, the company name. So basically it says that this lead was parsed into your Zoho CRM and it's now there. So once you hit on it, a pop-up window appears. And now this time, as you can see, the fields that we've hidden in the options page, the status and type, they're no longer displayed here. And we have the first and last name email. The same order is preserved here. First, last name, email. Pretty awesome, right? So that's how you can set up the fields display option for your convenience. Now, let's say if you were to move this particular lead to contact. Okay, now it's in our contacts. And so what we would do we simply go back to our LinkedIn page, we refresh it, and now you see that um, our green check mark is next to both Link Match, which is the company name, and 
Mark Nizvisky, which is our contact name. So the green check mark is now indicating that these are contacts. And if we click on them, it will reflect the fields inside of Zoho CRM for this particular contact. The order of the fields, uh, as well as the, the way they're displayed, it would be exactly as you have them set up in your link match options page in the fields display options. So in the context, we have open in CRM, status, account type, first and last name, the same thing we have here. And of course, um, these fields are editable and you can apply uh, the information to them. You can save. And then if you view them inside of your Zoho CRM, you will see those changes are reflected instantly. So as you can see here, the promo code. Okay, great. Um, now this is uh, pretty much it for the overview. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we do hope that link match will save you tons of time. We ran real statistics on uh, companies that have been using link match and they're saving time from somewhere to one hour to two hours per day, simply because they don't have to do this manual copy and pasting and switching between tabs. So um, you can eliminate a lot of uh, time waster with this simple yet highly effective extension. So go ahead and uh, get your copy today and you will not regret it. You have a good one.